Hi friends and welcome back to the channel. Today I will talk about how to solve the connection to the server issue in the PG Admin 4. So uh, without further ado, let's jump right into it. If you think about PostgreSQL server as the internet and server connection as the internet browser such as Google Firefox, DuckDuckGo, etc. PG Admin 4 is just a tool, it's just a nice UI user interface that helps to establish this server connection. But you need to have actual server, PostgreSQL server running somewhere. And to do this, follow the link in the description box below to uh, visit the EDB website, Enterprise Database. So you will see the open source and PostgreSQL databases and uh, download the one for your operating system. Then you will just need to follow simple instructions from your installer depending on your OS and within literally a couple of minutes you will have your Postgres server running. Then you simply go after that to PG Admin and create server. But here is a trick that PG Admin create server is a little bit um, confusing term because it doesn't actually create where i made a mistake and you might as well made a mistake that's why you are watching this video pg admin create server actually should be renamed as create server connection you need to connect to something and uh, if you just follow this uh, EDB and Postgres uh, SQL installation, you will have your database connection server running. And then you can uh, simply start using Postgres to create the databases, tables, procedures, etc. When all of the installations are complete and you enter PG Admin 4 app, you need to make sure when you create a server that the server, well, first of all, you write a password that you wrote during installation of PostgreSQL. Then you need to make sure that the server has the name. Uh, the name can be basically anything, but it's good to write something meaningful. For now, just write my local server and uh, comments as well for you and your collaborators. In this case, I'll just I'll use it for this uh, YouTube tutorial. And then here in the host name and address, you either write if you run in the local machine, you write localhost or 127.0.0.1. It is an IP of your local machine, laptop or computer, if you're running here. The rest is saved as default parameters, and you can also write uh, password there and then you have your server uh, i decided to deactivate the, the standard postgresql 16 that was there and ju just connect to my new my local server and as uh, you can see it has public uh, schema by default with of course no tables no procedures it's basically fresh empty server with fresh databases uh, in the postgres databases as uh, you can see we can now create our databases uh, tables procedures functions triggers uh, whatever we want and start uh, working with pg admin ui you are welcome. 
smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to help youtube algorithm and stay up to date because uh, next uh, i will be talking about intermediate to advanced sql tricks uh, such as uh, creating stored procedures how to create and to call them inside your postgresql and have a great everyone and see you in the next video